Welcome to the Browless Diaries. I'm Amber, and today I'm doing the definitive guide to pasties. I wear them quite a bit, so I feel like I'm pretty much an expert on pasties. I've acquired tons of different kinds now, so I'm going to take this episode to show you all the different kinds of pasties that you'll find. If there's more somewhere, let me know. I haven't seen any, but I've been buying a lot of pasties off of Amazon lately. So far, my favorite pair are the silicone ones. They're reusable because I like to be eco-friendly <laughs> as much as I possibly can. Um, but they um, give you some nice shape, too. The only downside to them is you do have to maintain them. You have to wash them every day, every other day, um, you know, whenever you use them. Otherwise, they don't stick as well. Some of the adhesive will start coming off. Um, and on really tight, light clothing, like the shirt that I have on now, you can see the outline of the pasty on it. Um, so over here on this side, <laughs> I have the silicone pasty on. Um, and you can see it gives a little bit of shape to it. It helps round everything off. But you can also see the outline of where the pasty is. Um, with the set that I bought off of Amazon, they also included some of these single-use, they're super thin cloth ones. Um, so I put one on on this side. I don't wear these because they tend to wrinkle. And you can see the wrinkles through the shirt. At least I can. I don't know if somebody talking to me is really going to pay attention to it. Somebody somewhere is going to notice. They probably will be polite enough to not say anything. Um, but I still prefer going with the multi-use um, silicone pasties that are a little bit thicker. Um, so a lot of times they'll come in like a nice carrying case like this um, that'll zip shut. Um, also, you have cloth ones that are multi-use. I haven't actually worn these ones yet because they're black and I don't have very many outfits that I would need something that's black with um, because some shirts can be see-through to some degree especially when you're wearing something that's black underneath um, these are really for you know black dresses or people with a darker skin tone um, but these have a little bit more serious adhesive to them um, it's along the lines of what you'd find on one of those sticky bras um, like with the backless and it actually sticks to you um, so that's the kind of adhesive that's on here. Um, again, haven't really worn these. They don't have the thin edges, so I could see, you know, that outline that you see here is going to be a lot more extreme if you're wearing something tight-fitting. Uh, so keep that in mind as you're choosing pasties. The other kind are party pasties! Uh, so if you're 19, you know, really into that, like, festival kind of vibe thing going on, man. Um, those pasties are great for when you want to actually be seen. So this you'd probably wear shirtless at Burning Man or something. Um, so to demonstrate, I have my friend Jessica here. This is Jessica. She's a really nice person. I blurred out her face because she wants to remain anonymous. Um, so we're just going to apply two of these party pasties, which are ridiculously huge. Um, this I would probably never wear under a shirt because you're going to, you know, just like the single-use adhesive ones that I have, um, which these coincidentally are, um, that came with my pack, you're going to be able to see the wrinkles under the shirt. So, oh my gosh. If I could just get this <laughs> off, apparently... The butterfly pasties don't want to be stuck on Jessica. Um, oh, here we go. We're going to flash up that technical difficulty sign on this video because that took way too long. Alright, so here we have it peeled off. And you'll see there's a little area for your nipple to go. And you would just place that over. And lay that sucker on there like that. Kind of smooth her out real nice. And there is one pasty on. I don't think I'll push you guys through the havoc of me trying to peel another one of these. But... Again, it's going to look a little ridiculous under a shirt because it's really peeling up in places. But you can see how if you were being, you know, very outgoing and open and comfortable with yourself, this would be a really cute addition 
um, to your lack of an outfit. <laughs> um, probably not something you'd ever see me wearing, but I had to get them because they look cool and fun. And you never know. Um, if you found anything in this video helpful or entertaining, hit that like and subscribe button to the Browless Diaries, and thanks for watching!